hope your nose ain't running, or you'll be snacking on snopsicles in no time here at Glacier Ridge. This nipple hardening course is famous for its howling wind, frozen fairways, and snowy bunkers, which are ideal conditions if your name happens to be Nanook. And just remember, if hypothermia sets in, you'll make a lovely coat rack for the local Eskimos. Never one to shy away from a good fight, Harley is currently considering running for public office. Her platform includes lowering the drinking age to puberty, outlawing helmets, and making misdemeanor convictions tax deductible. <laughs> but she still finds time to get out on the golf course, where she loves nothing more than committing assault and battery on the ball, as well as her amiable biker boy toy, Snake. Straight out of the impoverished confines of Rodeo Drive, this gated community gangster puts the rap in crap. After his debut album, Me Rap Good, sold only one copy, Ice Trey hung up his turntable and dusted off his clubs for a shot at golfing glory. Caddying for everyone's favorite trust fund thug is Ice Trey's partner in rhyme, Fresh Fruit. Adored by gorgeous women and androgynous men from around the world, El Suave believes in sharing his magnificent good looks with all who can show a certified blood test. Suave feels inner beauty is more important than outer beauty, so long as the outer beauty is still pretty hot. Lugging clubs for this south of the border stud is Tijuana's very own missing link, Mr. Man Boob himself, El Ramon. Born and raised in New York City, this Columbia University PhD is a triple threat, brains and boobs. When she's not in the science lab or getting dollars tucked into her G-string, Summer's hobbies include public indecency, one night stands, and of course, golf. Carrying Summer's clubs today is her pole dancing sidekick and hot body double, Autumn. Behold the 10th! Yes, golf fans, you are gazing upon a 421-yard par-4 masterpiece. One cannot help but marvel at the awesome grandeur unfolding before our eyes. If this hole were a woman, I would score quickly and repeatedly, then slip away undetected while it was sleeping. Our first golfer is Harley. Nice shot! If you have low self-esteem, this should help. Teeing off second is... Ice Tray. No one should complain about that shot. That's my job. Walking softly, carrying a big club, is El Suave. The final golfer in this motley foursome is Summer. Good shot. What should I do? Write you a song? Get over it. Second shot. Amazing what a little dumb luck will do for your shot. Second shot. lucky can you get second shot second shot
Nice contact on that one. I think I'm about to cry. No, it's just gas. Start manning the suicide hotlines. We've got a live one. Third shot. Third shot. Man, oh man, that green's breaking heavily to the right. Let's just drop that in and call it a hole. El Suave is lining up for a birdie or execution by firing squad. <laughs> How's that for motivation? Now that's a nice putt, golf fans. Ice Tray is attempting to put it in for par. Nice stroke, nice putt, nice job. Here's the 11th. Wow, this 170 yard par three is almost as short as the mini skirt I just bought at Versace. And the green sits up slightly like my perky little butt. With that said, stop looking at my tush. It's gross and immature. I said stop! That ball is sure sitting pretty on the green. What a conceited little bastard. Hey, that ball's on the green. Let's all do the wave. You players at home start. Better hold off on that Prozac refill. This one's sloping to the right in a big way. Here's a gimme, and don't say I never did anything for you. Ice Tray is eyeing this putt for a tasty birdie. Nicely done. My golf balls are bagging, and I ain't bragging, cause I'm rag tag tagging you hope. Ah, rain check, groin pull. 
El Suave is concentrating for a birdie. No pressure. Hit it already! Now that's what I call a stroke of genius. <laughs> Get it? Yes, El Suave has shot a birdie. A dooty boopy dooty dee boopy doopy doopy. Notice the elaborate choreography. We have spared no expense for your viewing pleasure. We're here at the 12. Holy tea bag. This 400 yard par 4 is tougher than getting fat drunk Sally off you after a bucket of oysters. If you do land your ball on this steroided ice cube, you've then got to launch it onto another steroided ice cube. I reckon if this ain't gonna drive you to drinking, fat drunk Sally will. That's what we in the biz call a money shot. Someone tip the fluffer. Ice tray is absolutely positively ready to deliver. That ball's playing hooky. Break out the deodorizer, because we're officially knee-deep in the crapper. Third shot. Is there a doctor in the house? Cause that ball's gonna need some reconstructive surgery. And believe me, I've used that line before. All right, second shot. I'm afraid that shot is stuck in the trap, which sounds a lot like my last relationship. Fourth shot. That's a good looking ball. I'm strangely attracted to it. Okay, second shot. Too early to panic. That's either a good omen or some really excellent cheating. It's time to be a stud and play it from here. Or be a bitch and take a drop. The decision is all yours. Fourth shot. If you're trying not to get it in the hole, nice job. Second shot. Fifth shot. Wow! 
If I was any more excited about that shot, I'd need a tissue and an apology. Third shot. Nothing wrong with that shot. Sixth shot. To drop a par in the bottom of the cup. W O W Whoa! Wow, I meant. Wow. Ah, close enough. I could use a change of scenery. Ice Tray is tapping for a shot at Birdie. Houston, I think we have a golfer. Ow, I think I popped a peanut. Check out the 13th. This 191-yard par 3 has a slope with a drop deeper than my cousin Danny's paws. The kid's got acne so bad, his face could double as a pepperoni pizza. In a nutshell, take care of your friggin' skin. What a tremendous disappointment. Now you know how my parents feel. Second shot, concentrate. To sink a birdie. Nice putt, and that's all that matters. To make a birdie. What a crap shot! Who's got some paper? Because that was a crap shot! For a shot at birdie, and all its glory. To sink one for par. Hey, is someone wearing vomit scented cologne? Or is it just that shot that stinks?
Summer has an opportunity to drop this one in for par. School must be in session because that was some textbook putting. Harley is preparing to nail this one for par. One word, nice putt. Okay, so I failed math. Let that be a lesson to you kids. Stay in school. Welcome to the 14th. Hey, Chihuahua! This, my friends, is a 507-yard par 5. You have a long journey ahead of you before reaching the green. I shudder at the sight of its icy vastness. Yet I am fondly reminded of another long journey, one I made when I was 16, over land, water, and even electrified fences. By now, you must have realized what I am referring to. That's right, I'm talking about the time when I snuck into Disney World. This is worse than picking bugs out of your teeth going 90. Break out the brass knuckles, because we're about to see some ground caddy. Duh. Now my decision making's real impaired. Cheap shot. Bam. Bam. Going down. Toe jam. Kickstart. Footsie. Now that's what I call paying proper respect to your caddy. Someone get the president on the horn. That ball is going ballistic. Hope you enjoyed it, because you just got voted out of the zone. That shot makes me want to become a better person. Summer is at the tee and getting ready to spank the ball like a naughty little schoolgirl. That'll score a 9.6 with the German judge. All right, second shot. Second shot. Oh my, that ball should be tried for treason. Take it away. Fourth shot. Sixth shot. Thanks a lot, man. Now I gotta use my other hand to count. How am I supposed to hold my beer? Oh, I guess it's all about you. Eighth shot. Tenth shot. You gotta admire this golfer's determination and high tolerance for ridicule. 
Like a deacon at a Boy Scout convention. Talk about an uncomfortable lie. Oh, somebody please bury me. Mm. Well, I see someone is using a new fabric softener. Second shot. Okay, second shot. Too early to panic. Wow! What a tremendous disappointment! Now you know how my parents feel. Third shot. Well, that sure makes club selection easy. Third shot. What goes up must come down, and down it comes, perfectly on the green. Third shot. It takes really soft hands to hit like that. Woohoo! Fruity! <laughs> That'll be good for your game. Ice Tray is putting down a teeny tiny incline for a shot at birdie. This one's on me, buddy. <laughs> nice putt, and that's all that matters. Harley has this putt for a birdie or execution by firing squad. <laughs> How's that for motivation? Nice! That was good for both of us. back at the hotel and bringing my skis, but I remembered I don't ski! It's too bad because I just bought the most bitchin' ruby red ski vest with matching lycra pants that don't show my panty line. Like I'd ever wear panties anyway, right? Oh, and if you're wondering, this is a 424-yard par 4. Happy skiing! That's a new record.
pretty shot. Trust me on this, because I'm an expert on ugly. Boy, that shot was a lot like marriage. It started off so, so good, and then went so terribly wrong. Well done. Just the way I like my steaks. <laughs> Second shot. Nice! That ball is seeing more green than the inside of P. Diddy's wallet. Or whatever he calls himself. Second shot. Concentrate. Yes! That ball is resting comfortably on the green. All right, second shot. That ball's a beaut. Second shot. Make a birdie. School must be in session, because that was some textbook putting. Harley is hoping for a birdie. No pressure. Hit it already! Now that's a nice putt, golf fans. Whoa, baby! If that record-setting putt were any prettier, I'd ask to meet it in my hotel room for drinks. Get a load of the 16th! This 385-yard par four is not for the faint of heart, that's for dang sure. Hoo-wee! Look at this sucker. I mean, if you are afraid of heights, you might just as well kiss your ass goodbye, cause it's a straight drop on either side of the fairway. Dang, I sure wish I had the golf ball concession on this hole. Pretty good, I'd take that. Très bien! See, I picked up a lot more in France besides a moped license and a nasty rash.
Time to pat somebody on the back. And while you're at it, I'll take a hot old body rub. Gotta like that one. Second shot. Second shot. Second shot. That ball is safely on the green, and I, for one, will sleep better knowing that. Second shot. Now that's the way it's done. Summer is putting down a gentle slope for a tasty birdie. Nice stroke, nice putt, nice job. Harley is smacking to sink a birdie. Houston, I think we have a golfer. Did you see that, Bernie? No, but I am seeing a bright light. We're here at the 17. This 550-yard par 5 looks harder than Grandpa after he overdosed on Viagra. The old guy thought he was taking his back pills, and the next thing he knows, he's pitching a tent Barnum and Bailey could perform under. Turns out he became quite popular with the ladies at the nursing home. Let's hope you do as well on this hole as he did on theirs. Now you'll have to excuse me. The thought of Grams having sex just brought up the calzone I had for lunch. Nice contact on that one. Time to call Guinness about that record-breaking drive. And I'm talking about the beer company.
second shot. As if by actual skill and not complete accident, that ball is on the green. Okay, second shot. Too early to panic. about a lucky break. That's almost like tongue kissing a frog and getting a hot stripper. Or at least two twins. You know, well, actually it's nothing like that at all. Second shot. Now that's a lucky freaking break. Second shot. Bam! Nice! El Suave is preparing to putt downhill for an awe-inspiring eagle. Whoa! That putt came up well short of the hole. Someone appears to have a little depth perception problem. Or a birdie. No pressure. Hit it already! That's short, but at least it's not fat. That would really suck. Summer is tapping for an unbelievable eagle. Nicely done! Nice! Can you believe it? An eagle. I've worked up quite a thirst. Want some spit? Sure. Ice Tray has this putt for a heart-stopping eagle. Let's check the batteries on the defibrillator. That putt will do the trick. Now if it could roll over and fetch the paper, that would be really something. Harley is concentrating. For a strike up the band, where's the parade eagle? Nice stroke, nice putt, nice job. Make a birdie. Damn, I bet somebody's itching to hit the reset button. For a birdie, or execution by firing squad, <laughs> How's that for motivation? Nice putt, and that's all that matters.
Yes, this is the 18th. Wow, my eyes have only gazed upon a crevasse this big one other time. Her name was Rosalia. As me padre used to say, the bigger they chunk, the better they funk. My name is El Suave, and I am a chubby chaser. Good luck on this 396 yard par four. Not bad. Hold that thing still. Man, that feels good. I just hope I didn't hurt the bag. Somebody call NASA! We just launched a low-orbit satellite. That'll work. Second shot. Man, and I thought monkeys were the only ones who flung crap. Second shot. Good shot. Second shot. Concentrate. That'll do. Second shot. Third shot. You know, the law of averages says this could be a good one. But then again, it could suck. That's the thing with averages. What do I know? What am I, a, a math teacher? To now, one of the best looking pars I've ever seen. Oh, sorry. I was looking at a different hole. This one's just average. Now that's what I call a stroke of genius. <laughs> Get it? Ice tray is hoping to sink a birdie. One word, nice putt. Okay, so I failed math. Let that be a lesson to you kids. Stay in school. El Suave has an opportunity for a shot at birdie. School must be in session because that was some textbook putting. And now 18th century dancing. I am Lady Ramoni Baker's daughter. And I am Lord Suave Land Baron. Donaldo Trumpo, eat my shorts. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got ourselves a tie. We'll have to settle this thing with a sudden death tiebreaker. First golfer to win a hole is the champ. Everyone else gets massacred. Just kidding. <laughs> Not really. Behold the tent! 
Yes, golf fans, you are gazing upon a 421-yard par-4 masterpiece. One cannot help but marvel at the awesome grandeur unfolding before our eyes. If this hole were a woman, I would score quickly and repeatedly, then slip away undetected while it was sleeping. Good stogie. Hey, does this look like an ashtray? <sighs> Women. As I look through the scope of my high-powered rifle, the first target, uh, I mean golfer to tee off is Harley. Nice contact on that one. Ting off second is Ice Tray. Nice. Give that ball a gold star. Walk it softly. Carrying a big club is El Suave. What's not to like about that shot? If only you could take it home and dim the lights, put on some Barry White. Oh, yeah. The final golfer in this motley foursome is Summer. Nice. Somebody send over the cocktail waitress. I want to start celebrating immediately. Second shot. How lucky can you get? Second shot. Amazing what a little dumb luck will do for your shot. Okay, second shot. Too early to panic. I know one golfer who should stay away from lottery tickets. All right, second shot. Well, so much for being in the zone. That shot left skid marks. Third shot. Let's just see about that third time is the charm crap. Even through this vodka haze, I can tell that was a nice shot. Here we go. Third shot. Anything is still possible. Nice contact on that one. I think I'm about to cry. No, it's just gas. Forget 12-step groups. You're doing just fine on your own. Summer is lining up for a tasty birdie.
One word. Nice putt. Okay, so I failed math. Let that be a lesson to you kids. Stay in school. Nice stroke, nice putt, nice job. Here's the 11th. Wow, this 170 yard par three is almost as short as the mini skirt I just bought at Versace. And the green sits up slightly like my perky little butt. With that said, stop looking at my tush. It's gross and immature. I said stop! Damn! If I knew we were going swimming, I would have waxed my bikini line. And this ball is nestled comfortably on the green like my head in the ample bosom of a large woman. You gotta have dreams, people. Sweet! That ball is on the green. Let's hear it for annoying overachievers. Wait to lay it up and on. Third shot. Way to go. Time to break out the putter. Looks like we've got a small break to the right on this screen. Nice putt, and that's all that matters. El Suave is eyeing this putt for a birdie. No pressure. Hit it already! Now that's a nice putt, golf fans. Ah, bless you for raining roses on El Suave. You have touched me deeply, mi amigo. Now please stand up. Your pose troubles me greatly. This 400-yard par-4 is tougher than getting fat, drunk Sally off you after a bucket of oysters. If you do land your ball on this steroided ice cube, use then gust to launch it onto another steroided ice cube. I reckon if this ain't gonna drive you to drinking, fat, drunk Sally will. You got to be kidding me. That ball was smoking. Seriously, did anyone see those flames? If one were to think of the zone as a beautiful girl, then it's time this golfer realized they ain't getting any.
Ice Tray is about to take a crack at it. I can't say enough about that shot, nor do I want to. Sweet! Maybe good golf isn't so hard after all. Second shot. That's either a good omen or some really excellent cheating. Second shot. Harley is nestled in amongst the sand, please. Hope this next shot doesn't bite. Well, that's not going to help your game or your irritable bowel syndrome. Second shot. Folks, life is full of disappointments, and clearly that shot was one of them. Third shot. Set a course for the Viridian system. Maximum warp. Third shot. Nice. That ball just got some prime real estate. Third shot. You know, the law of averages says this could be a good one. But then again, it could suck. That's the thing with averages. What do I know? What am I, a, a math teacher? Harley is attempting to shoot for a glorious par. Can you tell I want this hole to end? That nice contact on that one. I think I'm about to cry. No, it's just gas. <laughs> Ice tray is smacking for a birdie or execution by firing squad. <laughs> How's that for motivation? Nicely done. I got small hoes in a garden shed. And when he plays golf, he makes lots of bread. So step aside while I spread this jam and whoop some ass like J.C. Van Dam. Game's over, folks. Put your tray tables in the upright position, because the winner is... Harley! Congratulations. Time to roll the credits on this game, cause it's over.
By the way, what the hell's a lead modeler? <laughs>